What's up guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate the air suspension ride height values on a Jeep. This is a Jeep Grand Cherokee, the process should be the same on most Jeep models. Let's get started. So all you want to do is connect the capable scan tool and enter the air suspension control module. And from there you go to special functions and on most scan tools, it's going to be called right suspension height values. So you press that and it's going to ask you for the value in millimeters. I'll put the screen recording up and I'll show you guys how to measure that. So it's quite simple, all you need is a tape measure and you need to take four measurements on each corner of the car because that's what the scanner is going to ask you for. So your first measurement is the simplest one, it's from the ground to the center of the wheel. So right here you can see I have 14.5 inches, now this tape measure only measures in inches for some reason so I got to convert that to millimeters, so I'm going to convert 14.5 inches to millimeters and put that into my calculator. Then we're going to take the second measurement which is the cradle measurement which I'll show you next. So then you want to take your second measurement, which is going to be underneath the car. And this right here is called the cradle. So you want to measure from the ground all the way to this bolt. So you could see for mine, I have 11 inches. It might be 11 and a half. I'll have to double check. So I'm just going to take that, convert it to millimeters, and subtract it from my first measurement. 14.5 inches to millimeters. So I'm just going to put that into the calculator. And then we'll do the second number next, 11 inches to millimeters. There you go. So we're just going to subtract the first one from the second one. And that's going to be our total, which we're going to put in the scan tool. So once you have your subtracted measurement, in my case I was 89, you put it into your scan tool. Then your scan tool is going to ask you to go to the other corner and do the same thing. So the other corner of the process is the same as this side, but then when you get to the back, the cradle is different. So let me just show you that real quick. So once you're here at the back, the first measurement is going to be the same. It's going to be from the ground to the center of the wheel. But the second measurement, your cradle measurement, the cradle for the back is located right here. This bolt right here. So you're going to measure from the ground to this bolt, enter that into your scan tool, do the same for the other side, and you're going to be done. So once you've entered all four corners into the scan tool, the scan tool is going to set the car to a specified height. And then all you do after that is go inside the car. And you simply want to put the air suspension up, wait for it to lift, do it again until you reach the maximum height. Once you're at the maximum height, you then want to just go down one by one until you reach the lowest height. After that, you could set the car back down to the normal height and it'll be good to go. That's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I'll see you all next time.